MakerBot 2.0, 3.0, 4.0? Always. We're just pushing as hard as we can to push the technology forward and, and uh -huh. make it make it work. Uh, when you go upstairs, you'll see there's plastriders that are being put through death tests, which means we just brutalize them, we stop them, we start them, we heat them up too hot. We do everything we can to kill them uh -huh. before we release them. Yeah, correct. And then if they survive. <laughs> it's sort of like, you know, mm -hmm. I don't know. One of those game shows where they vote you off the island, but it's not. It's just actually for broken hardware mm -hmm. until mm -hmm. just the best. For me. Oh, fantastic! Can I ask what you did in uh, school? How did you get involved with uh, making? Sure. So yeah. I got started with bicycles when I was really young. I had an uncle, who his pastime would he is he would wake up very early in the morning. He knew all the trash routes in Boston, and I visited him for like two weeks when I was like six uh -huh. and I would ride with him in his pickup truck and he knew all the trash routes and we'd go and find all the good trash before the trash men came uh -huh. and we picked up a couple bikes that were all broken and I think he probably put them together for me but he made me feel like I was part of it and that I had done it so uh -huh. I had this feeling like I could take apart a bike and put it back together mm -hmm. again mm -hmm. and then after that yeah nothing was safe. Mm -hmm. Did you take any technical training or uh, was that just a uh you know, training is kind of overrated these days with the internet. If you have yeah. passion, you can pretty much get into whatever you want. I mean, right. you probably sh well, probably shouldn't be making ro like uh, you know, Titan stage rockets. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to stop you. <laughs> you won't ride with me though. <laughs> won't get yeah. on board. Yeah, yeah. What's the strangest, uh, most surprising application of a MakerBot that uh, you're users have uh, come up with? What really surprised you? Something that surprised me. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff right now in Thingiverse, because we just had, I mean, Thingiverse the past few weeks has just blown up. Um, I'm excited because somebody made uh, like um, 3D goggles for looking at uh, stereoscopic pictures. Uh -huh. So you, you, you make or buy them, you put some mirrors in them and then you can do this, you can see mm -hmm. things in 3D. Mm -hmm. um, so you use a 3D printer to create a pair of goggles that let you turn 2D into 3D. That's mm -hmm. okay, that's like 8D. Mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty cool. The other thing is there's all sorts of contraptions. Somebody made a little uh, contraption where you turn something like this and you set up all these pins and these wheels go around and it makes a beat for you. So it goes mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Neat. Uh, th somebody made a uh, transformer mm -hmm. where it's a, it looks like a maker bot and then it pops open and it, it's a human. Neat. Um, mm -hmm. That one's kind of embarrassing because they put my head on it. That's what it belongs? Uh, yeah, I, perfect, I mean, perfect, perfect, perfect. I, I'm a, I can't wait to print it out. Yeah. Um, somebody, uh, there's just, if you just go on Thingiverse and mm -hmm. I just recommend if you're into robots, check out Thingiverse, look at it every day, see all the new stuff and just your head will go up. Blue, explode, right? Yeah. Yeah, cool.